Do you want to turn your kitchen waste such as orange peels, onion peels, and regular items from your kitchen into homemade organic pesticide? Well, you're at the right place. And this is really good to get rid of the pests in your garden and also keep repelling pests and insects from your garden as well. It can work up to two weeks after applying, provided that there's no rain and you don't spray any water on the foliage of your plants. And this pesticide is made by just regular ingredients. So let's get started. First, get a deep cooking pot like this one and place it on the stove. Add two liters or half a gallon of water to the pot. Add peels from two oranges or any other citrus fruit. Citrus fruits contain a compound called terpene, which repels insects. Next, add a whole garlic bulb. Garlic is a natural insect repellent that has been used for centuries to deter insects. Garlic contains sulfur compounds such as allicin, which insects do not like and tend to stay away from. Next, add peels from a whole onion. Onions also contain sulfur compounds such as thiosulfinates, which insects do not like and stay away from. Next, turmeric. Add one teaspoon of turmeric. Turmeric contains a compound called curcumin, which has antifungal and antibacterial properties. This comes in really handy to fight against fungal and bacterial diseases in plants. Next, cinnamon. Add one teaspoon of cinnamon as well. And cinnamon also has antifungal and antibacterial properties. Plus, cinnamon is also used to repel insects as well. Next, add one teaspoon of powdered red pepper or cayenne pepper. Red pepper is a natural pest repellent against leaf-eating insects and worms, and also against other animals such as birds and squirrels. Next, add one tablespoon of oil. Now you can use your regular olive oil, vegetable oil, or you can also use neem oil as well. Now turn up the heat to high. You know, it really looks like I'm making soup, but come to think about it, all the ingredients in this pesticide, they're all edible. So it's safe for human consumption and animal consumption, it's just not good for the insects. Bring the contents of the pot to a boil. Make sure you keep the pot covered, otherwise your whole kitchen and your whole house will have a very pungent smell. Boil the contents for one hour. After one hour of boiling and simmering, you can turn off the heat and let the pot cool down. Once cooled, our homemade pesticide solution is ready. Use a fine strainer and place it on a wide mouth pitcher, and then pour the pesticide solution from the pot into the pitcher. Make sure to hold back all the contents that we added with a spoon so they don't spill out. So our pesticide is ready and it's really strong. If you smell it, oh my God, it's, it has a really strong smell. It's really hard to be around this thing. And you don't want to use it just like this. You want to dilute this. And the correct ratio is quarter of this stuff to about three quarters of water. So one liter of this pesticide to three liters of water or one quart of this homemade pesticide to three quarts of water which will make one gallon of usable pesticide that you can spray on your plants. So let's try it out. Now get a spray bottle like this one, open up the spray bottle and then pour over homemade pesticide solution into the spray bottle. Make sure to only fill the spray bottle up to quarter of the way, about 25%. Fill the rest of the bottle with water. Now this homemade pesticide works really well against the bacterial plant diseases such as fire blight, bacterial canker, and crown gall. And that's because of the turmeric and cinnamon in this solution. And also works really well against the soft body insects such as aphids, spider mites, and white flies. And that's because of the oil, the tablespoon of oil that we put in there. However, it does not work well against the beetles, squash bugs, or stink bugs, but it does help to repel them. It won't kill them, but because of the turmeric, garlic, onion, and all the stuff that we put in here, those insects are not going to want to be around this. Now I got two rose bushes here, and I always find aphids on my rose bushes. Sunflowers and roses are really good catch crop to attract all the aphids. So you can spray them right here instead of on your plants as well. However, you can use this on all the plants in your garden too, and it's completely safe. So let's use this right here. Be sure to spray the underside of the leaves as well because that's where all the aphids and the bad insects hide. You can use diatomaceous earth to get rid of hard shell insects such as beetles. And I have a separate video on the complete guide on organic pest control. So check that out right here and I'll see you in another video.